This is Daisy. And I'm Marie. Daisy is an American Border Collie. She weighs roughly 50 pounds, so she's rather large for a Border Collie. I'd like to tell you not to get a Border Collie, just to round up chickens. Daisy puts her chickens in the coop in less than two minutes every night. She's a very busy dog, and I think other dogs would be a better suited for most families, like a Corgi, a Sheltie, or a German Shepherd. My chickens get into the briars over there, so the smaller dogs like Corgis and Shelties might be a better fit. You might not need a dog at all. What about an automatic door opener that opens and closes for the chickens and you hook it to a solar panel? If you're sure you want a Border Collie, I think maybe you should give a look-see at a Border Collie sh rescue shelter and see what's there. Ah, uh, several of those dogs already know how. You see here, Daisy's playing with her chicks because she likes to do this. She could have them done in half the time. Well, I get bit by mosquitoes. Now, while she rounds these up in two minutes, there's 23 hours and 58 minutes left to her day. Border Collies need to be kept busy. What do you think Daisy's doing with the rest of her day? More specifically, what do you think I'm doing with the rest of Daisy's day? Yes, it comes to me. I'm the animal handler and I'm the bottom line here. Here we go, less than two minutes into the video, and they're all inside. What's next? Yeah, anybody who's got a Border Collie, you know that's what's going on. What's next? We gotta do something. Such a good girl, such a good girl, such a good girl. I enjoy very much taking my daisy to the seashore and enjoy the beach. I enjoy very much taking Daisy to the mountains and walking to the tops. I have taken Daisy as far east in the U.S. as we can go. That's my favorite bed and breakfast. Daisy would be crushed, her feelings would be hurt, if I didn't take her kayaking with me. She loves it now. She even gets bored in the kayak, lakes, rivers, and streams, and she'll jump out and go swimming. Look at this happy face. She's happy to be out shopping with me for some fall decorations. Daisy doesn't like to go boating very much, but she very much enjoys fishing for mackerel. She loves to wallow in mud puddles like a little pig. She loves to go for walks in the woods with our horse Jigs. And Jigs is awesome to put up with all this. She enjoys coming back and checking on her chickens. Spend a little time with them. Daisy has a little swimming pool. She likes to splash about in it. I like her to get into it once in a while. It helps shake off a lot of that dirt and mud that she's picked up on the trail around the chickens. And then I can give her a bath and bring her in the home. I want to point out that our lawn is nothing really special. We have some old plantings that Mom planted. The, uh, this is for phlox, hydrangea, and daylilies. They all come up without a problem all by themselves. And all I do is just mow the lawn. So there's nothing special, fancy. This is the hay field next to the house. Daisy plays uh, fetch, or I call it play tennis ball, several times a day. We're blessed to have the space to do this. And most border collies need it. I also would like to point out that Daisy has modified the behavior of two 
MIT rocket scientist. My brother will look for Daisy before he pours himself a glass of ice water. And David uh, actually has to follow Daisy around when they play fetch because she changed the rules and makes him follow her. Science, math-minded fellas, and my border collie is training them. Here's Daisy relaxing on the lawn. As I said, it's nothing special. You see the weeds. Look a little closer and you're going to see the rut that Daisy has worn into our lawn over the years. Not enough exercise, I guess. That rut fills with water. I call it the moat when it rains. I also have to negotiate over it with the lawnmower. How I approach that, or it'll get stuck in it. Daisy has done a lot of damage to our lawnmower. They look good now, but you should see what she's done to them recently. Several hundreds of dollars damaged. Come back. This is how Daisy says good night to our jigs. I'm not worried for my horse, Jigs. She has put one dog in the hospital and she sends the neighbor's Rottweiler home when it needs to be sent home. And I do scold Daisy if she gets too close to Jigs. But look at Jigs, isn't she wonderful? I love being with my animals. I love training my animals. You see, Jigs isn't worried. I introduced my puppy to Jigs years ago, and Jigs has just understood that that's my dog, and she's been very good to her. Here's a border collie in training that didn't go well. I wanted Daisy to learn to pull this stall door open by the rope that I tied to the handle. She does know how to tug a rope, but she's a border collie, and she does things the way she wants to do them. There we go. She grabs it by the bottom and pulls it. Silly dog. Now here's the damage to the door. I don't care about the door. I love my dog. I don't want her to get sick with splinters. Daisy does kill things. This is a harmless little garter snake that startled me. And Daisy is here to defend me from that little scary little snake. Here is a milk snake. Daisy found it in the gardens and she pulled it out and killed it. That's a constricting snake and most likely would have killed the chicks had she, they had it got a hold of the babies. I don't know what the hens. Good dog. I thought I would just show you. I don't know what other people's pedometers look like, but that's mine. Mine sets a limit for me based on the steps I took the day before. I, I don't do anything with it. But I made my goal again. Here's Daisy's pedometer. Yes, they make pedometers for dogs. And it does seem to sync up with mine pretty well. So uh, you'll see by 11 o'clock in the morning, Daisy's already more than halfway through her 7,500 step goal. That's just the default on her pedometer. And I haven't bothered to change it. I can if I want to. But look at the bottom of her pedometer. Daisy goes over 20,000 steps several days a week. She's a very busy dog. And here she is, patiently waiting for me to finish editing these videos, or pay the bills, or whatever the paperwork I need to do at the desk. She's bored. She's sighing. She wants to go out and play. Well, I hope I've inspired you to consider carefully what you really want, need, and like to be able to do. Uh, maybe you don't really need a dog. Maybe you already have a dog. And if you really need a dog, look into the options and what's available. A Border Collie is an extremely high maintenance dog. I adore my Daisy, but that does not mean anyone else is interested in the kind of antics and things that we do with our dog. We do some really silly things out there. Well, I hope this helps. 
I want it to be a good fit, whatever you choose to do with your chickens. I got my chickens for the dog. I did not get the dog for the chickens. I wouldn't have chickens. If Daisy weren't there, I probably wouldn't have the chickens. They're lower maintenance than cows, goats, ducks, pigs. I could have any of these, but again, this is how I roll. And I just would hope this helps you make decisions that are good for you. Please like and subscribe.